Okay, so it's been a week, and how's it going this week? How have you found it? No, it's you been first. exciting. Yeah, it's been fun, eh? Yeah, but also, I was also nervous. Nervous? Why were you nervous? What was made you nervous? I'm not used to parties with someone. Yeah, it's quite intense because you're meeting quite a few times in a week. But I hear progress has been good, eh? Yes. Yeah, so pretty quick. All right, so... Um, I'm going to leave them now and you're going to see what they've done. They're going to show you what you've done and then a little bit of the lesson for this week and then we'll wrap it up at the end. Cool. Yeah, what do you eat? Let's, let's recap on whatever that we've uh, learned uh, in the past week. Okay, uh, so let's start with the scale of uh, G major. Scale of G major, yes. Let's go. Let's do the very same scale, but now let's give it a little bit of rhythm. same scale same pattern but now I want you to move your bow more all right give us more bow more bow more down bows and more up bows so it's more like this Okay, now let's jump into the scale of uh, D. Now let's do the scale of D. Now remember in the scale of G we have only one accidental. That is your F. Okay, it becomes sharp. So now we're doing the scale of um, D whereby you have uh, two accidentals. You have your F sharp and C sharp. So meaning you're going to apply the third finger on the D string and the third finger on the A string. Okay, remember, second finger on the D, that's your F natural. And then second finger on the A, that's your C natural. Yes, now, third finger on the D, that's your F sharp. And third finger on the A, that's your C sharp. Yes, so now we're playing the scale of D. So we're doing our Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, right? So it's the very same thing that we did here. We're going to do it now on the other side okay starting on the d let's go but now slowly
going back to C major, where you have all your natural notes. Okay, so we're going to do one octave first, then two octaves. So we're starting with. First octave, and then from there we're gonna do second octave. Slowly, let's do it slowly. Let's do the the second octave. Now we're going to start with uh, on the fourth finger on the G. So remember when we're going up the scale. Uh, so we're gonna play fourth finger open one two four open one two. Let me go back. Watch. Fourth finger. This is G. Listen to this G. G. The same thing. G. G. Yeah, fourth finger. Listen, 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 listen to yourself. Listen to this note. Play that. The fourth finger, that's your G. Yes, now second finger. Now bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it down. Yes. First finger. Always remember to push your, your foot finger a little bit. Oh, okay. So let's give it a little bit of rhythm. Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, okay. 
Meskipun waking on your Especially on the D string, right? Work on your first finger, second finger, and your fourth finger, right? Because you're sounding flat, very flat, yeah? And also, yeah, you become sharp at times. Yeah? So try to keep your your first finger very steady. Yeah, let's play that first finger and listen to this note. This is D. I want you to practice the E, play the E. Take it a little bit back, yes. yes. So that's the E we want. Working on the canon. Yeah, let's play the first three notes of the canon. First three notes of the canon. Do it again. D. A. Then B. Right now, we're going to play the F sharp. F sharp on the C. First position and first high position. Play the first four notes of the canon. And then F sharp. And then yes. Now from the F sharp we're gonna move to the G. F sharp. Then G. Then low G. Then G again. F sharp, yes, we need to focus on the F sharp. Right, let's do it again. Yes, D, then A, C, so B, then F sharp. Fix your F sharp. Saturday too, and we're going to see you next week for the next week of progress. So I hope you enjoy it. See you next week.